A question that commonly arises here in the CPS territories is how should we respond to people when they're recommending that plan A be done to solve a problem with a kid? But let's define our terms to begin with. Technically, plan A is an imposed solution to a problem. Plan A is an imposed solution to a problem. We want to make sure they even know what plan A is. Uh, some people plan, think plan A means a punishment. Well, sometimes an imposed solution to a problem is a punishment, but not always. Some people think that when you're doing plan A, it means you merely have an expectation for the kid. That's not true. Having an expectation is one thing. Plan A is one of three potential responses to an unmet expectation. You don't need a plan if an expectation is being met. And of course, here in the CPS territories, an unmet expectation is referred to as an unsolved problem. So now we've defined our terms. Plan A is when we have an unsolved problem, an unmet expectation, and the adults are imposing a solution to it. Why might that not be a good idea? Well, let me think of the many different ways that that wouldn't be a good idea. Here's one. Plan A causes challenging behavior in challenging kids. I thought we were trying to reduce challenging behavior here. Number two, plan A does not create a partnership between adult and child in the solving of problems. Number three, plan A does not involve kids in solving the problems that affect their lives. And that, by the way, is a skill this kid is going to need in the real world just about every hour. We give kids no practice at solving the problems that affect their lives when we are imposing solutions to those problems. And, and this may be the most important one, solutions that are arrived at through plan A are not only unilateral, being imposed, they are also uninformed. They are based on no information whatsoever from the kid about what's really getting in the way on the problem that's causing whatever behavior it is that we are concerned about in the first place. We want informed, collaborative, proactively arrived at solutions. We want this kid to be involved in solving the problems that affect his life. We don't want to sign off on any solutions where we do not get input from the kid about what's really getting in his way and where we do not get sign off and input from the kid about the solution that's going to solve that problem. Plan A does none of those things. What do you say to someone who's really enthusiastic about Plan A? You provide them with all of that information and you make sure they know that whether you're doing Plan A or Plan B, you're still trying to solve the problem. In one case, you're doing it unilaterally. In the other case, you're doing it collaboratively.